Cancer. Hello, Cancer. This is your June forecast for 2013, and uh, thank you for watching here last month. And I have spoken, in fact, with a lot of you, Cancerians. You're going through a lot of transitional situations in your life, a lot of it being emotional. And uh, I see that you take a high percentage in the clients that I've been receiving here through YouTube on the mini readings that were the longer readings as well and uh, really trying to kind of work through your life. Now this month in June, um, in many ways will represent for you a time to step back and take a deep breather and uh, weed through and make some choices, deeper decisions. Um, your planets, the Sun, uh, Mars and uh, the new moon and Jupiter will be in your 12th house, meaning it's time to kind of heal, you know, and be quiet, be still take some me time off and uh, do some meditation you know it's time to listen within and shed you know those things uh, that you can shed right now some of you might be ready to do it some of you are on the verge of doing it but not fully quite ready to take that leap but i, I do believe that uh, by july you will be seeing some of these major changes taking place already by the end of the month so um, it's time it, it, it's like right now you're cocooning okay you you uh, went into this hibernation here now it's all being within listening within inside that cocoon and figuring out what is important for me where am I heading from here what am I closing down and shutting down what am I sick and tired of what has been challenging so long going nowhere and do I still want to continue to do that? You know, so, so I see you kind of like weeding through and then coming to some conclusions, which by the end of month is going to set you free, launch you into a new cycle. And I'm really happy to report that, uh, Cancerians, because I know how so many of you are longing for exactly just that. Um, you're such a, you know, nurturer. You nurture everybody else. It's time to nurture yourself. Uh, feed yourself good foods, you know, look at your health. How can you strengthen it? How can you lose some weight? Some of you are looking at that aspect. Um, not necessarily just dieting, because, but, but it's more about a consciousness of how can I grow health? How can I grow strong again? Because some of you have, have the feeling of being left depleted from the challenges that's been uh, cycling, you know, throughout your life. It's like I get this vision of a tornado there, and sure, that does do some uh, devastation, but you're so strong at cancer, you know, so you, you can't really fool people who know <laughs> you're stronger than what it is because, you know, your, your opposite sign is Capricorn, so you have this innate strength, this capability within you that you, you can draw from when you really need it, and that Capricornian energy that's ruled by Saturn. So you have that sense from birth that you know what you can trust. You know what you can draw from within you when you're not getting that support on the outside world out there. Uh, you draw upon it from your inner strength. And uh, this is something that leaves you uh, very wise and old spirit kind of. And uh, but, but I'm so happy to see that shortly. You're done with a long-term cycle right now. But right where you are, here at the top of the month, um, <clears throat> we, we have the Sun and Uranus on the 1st of June, no, nonetheless, which is going to open up some doors for you. Unexpectedly, you're, you're going to feel that there is this, uh, um, I don't know, out of the blue situation. It could be an opportunity coming to you, and it might very well be career-related. I know we've talked a lot about the emotional things going on in your life and the family, the kids and all that. But right now, for those of you that have applications out there, the first looks really good to receive some great news. Um, and then on the third, we have some communications. You might be called in for an interview uh, there on the third. And I see how you uh, communicate really brilliantly, uh, very openly. 
um, and, and with a sense of authority, you know your stuff, you know, and, and you're not afraid to, to bring it out, you know, flaunt it. Uh, Saturn's really giving you the backing that, that you so need, and uh, it heals, you know, whatever has been difficult <clears throat> over these last few months, because suddenly you're going to feel that things are starting to go your way, because here on the same day on the 3rd, Venus, the sense of love, you know, the self-love that we hold inside of our own hearts and spirits, uh, and the love that we radiate and shine outside, it's right there in your first house. It's sitting on your ascendant on your rising sign, on the cusp, right there. So it's like, talk about the Empress, but you're very much so going to radiate being the Empress here on uh, June 3rd. And so and it kind of coincides with whatever important talks you have that day. So for those of you going into an interview on the 3rd, ah, well, good for you. Uh, you're definitely going to make your point across on all levels. And then the, in the following week here on the 7th, we, we have... Uh, that same Venus kind of teaming up with Neptune, uh, which is bringing the dream uh, picture into being, um, what you've been seeking, what you've been longing for, also romantically, emotionally too, reaching for the ideal, and that same Venus is anchoring it because Saturn is there as well. So it's like, it's whatever you think, it's whatever you feel, it's like it's such a magical first week of the month where thoughts and feelings kind of coincide and then they happen. They actually manifest. You know, Saturn's going to materialize it for you. So if it could always be like that, I think we'd, always, we'd all be in such a very happy place. However, though, also on that very same day, just as you're feeling great and good and groovy, um, Mercury and Mars is going to be a little challenged here. Mercury by Pluto, so that could be some big force uh, opponent or somebody coming across with a very strong and in, uh, intense message for you, challenging where you're at, challenging uh, some thoughts or some convictions that you have. Um, and I feel it's more from a male person than a female, uh, only because Mars is there too, which is also very masculine. And that's also squaring this Neptune, this dream, the, this joy that you have. You might find that somebody's very envious. Maybe there's a, somebody at work there and you just got a promotion or something. And you kind of just surpass them. And there could be some male enviness around you. But that's okay. It's going to pass really, really quick. Um, so be it. Whatever's coming to you now is something that you deserve. Because only you know cancer how much you've been working for it right the new moon on the 8th this month will be in your 12th house so the affirmation that seed of intention that you want to plant uh cancer is asking and not even just asking but but kind of putting it out there to the universe that this year because we're, we're looking for a whole year because the new moon is only in this sector the sex sector excuse me, of the 12th house once a year. So you're programming it, okay? You're giving it a new blueprint, so to speak. And we know how little time you have had to yourself. There's been kids, it's been the relationship, it's been the marriage, it's been partners that have been a little difficult and challenging. And you haven't really taken a lot of time um, for yourself. So your affirmation is this year, this month, I'm creating more me time. For me you know and, and make sure that you really kind of plant that intention deeply so it sits with you and then you let it go and simply just trust it and then you'll see how you're going to be creating small pockets of me time uh, throughout the weeks and the months to come good for you then we have uh, this little challenge that we had on the seventh you know that mercury pluto and, and mars there well that challenge, just as you thought that it might have left you, that, that it was all said and done, well, it's going to come back around on the 11th. Uh, so whatever partner is trying to be a little difficult, well, now it, it's not just challenging um, your mindset or your convictions, which is Mercury, but now it's challenging Venus, your values, your sense of self-value. Uh, it might be challenging uh, your income money you're making once again i'm seeing it's coming from a place of envy 
uh, because now the Saturn and Neptune also is square. Um, so it might be some male energy, could be females too, because Venus is involved in this one, feeling that you might have got a little bit too good of a deal. It might, you know, say something or throw a remark. But in here and out there, okay? Don't let it sit. Don't let it fester. Don't let it hurt you. This is more showing where they're at. You know, it's showing their mindset. Um, so actually, it doesn't really have much to do with you at all. But for you, it's all how you deal with it, how you balance it out. And then we have some great time here on the 12th and 14th healing time uh, where you're feeling that you can just shed it and let it go. You're not really uh, taking it in, which you normally would do because you're so sensitive to uh, cancer. You know, you're, you're so giving to everybody else that it hurts 10 times more if somebody should hurt your feelings. Um, but I see you rising above, brushing it off, so to speak. Um, because your energy is really perking up here on the 17th, uh, 19th, and 20th. Beautiful days. Uh, Mars is going to bring you a surprise, something unexpected. Mars is men in your life. It could also be just some action or direction that you personally are going to take, um, which will fling open new doors. Uranus will just, out of the blue, uh, bring something to your attention which can really be good and behoove you. So pay attention to that day, whatever that is, and then you can always yay it or nay it, but at least it's there. And then on the 19th and 20th, uh, the sun is going to conjunct Jupiter. It happens one day a year, and it's the happy-go-lucky day. It is a Jupiterian day where things just feel like you're on top of the world, Everything is expansive, you know, it's abundant. Jupiter brings joy and belly laughters and all the good things. Um, so great day to go and do something special. And then Mercury and Venus on the 20th, they're kind of doing the dance. So it's communication of emotions and feelings and what you have accomplished, your sense of self-worth coming together there. It's like a, a celebration. And for those of you having any kind of uh, family reunions, great time, absolutely, for that because it is very joyful energies. And then we have, uh, just like I said, uh, top of the month there when Venus went over your rising sign on the cusp of the first house with Venus, uh, the sun is coming in on the 20th, followed by Jupiter on the 25th. So talk about just a wonderful, wonderful month for you. Venus, Sun, Jupiter. And this Jupiter, which is now going to uh, be in your first house, it's going to stay there for a whole year until summer of 2014. And you know Jupiter is just the, the, the gift giver. Uh, it, it's it's the what we call the overflowing horn of abundance. Um, it, it's also all those good prayers, wishes, karma, dharma, actually uh, coming back to you and uh, you will notice that how difficult and heavy it has been Jupiter now is just about to lift and rise and take you up and out of some of those conflicts that you have had to endure for a long time and especially this last year has been heavy because Jupiter hasn't been all that accessible to you it was in the 12th house it was hidden it was veiled um, <clears throat> so many of you felt that you were really pretty alone in having to make deeper choices uh, and so forth, that you weren't supported. But you know what? You were never alone, Cancer. Because when Jupiter is in the 12th house, it's into our subconsciousness. It's not out there in the outer world, support from other people. When Jupiter is in the 12th, you become your own best friend. And what you've got from this, in this last year of 2012, and, and tell me if I'm wrong though, but haven't you grown on the inside? Haven't you developed a closer relationship to yourself, your higher self? Haven't you felt that you've been listening more, you know, to that intuitive voice that has been guiding you? So you've definitely not been alone. It has been the universe being with you on the inside. But now, as it's coming back out into the open, where it's going to be transiting 11 houses, 11 different life areas, for a full year, um, no, for a full 12 years, excuse me, 
um, you will uh, definitely have that outer support back out there in the external world. But yeah, it, it's a, a great year to look ahead for. Uh, yeah, Venus is there, uh, and then Mercury is there, communication, and then it's going to be followed here also by the Sun on the 20th. So this is the time of year to be very radiant and beautiful. Um, that's heading you into um, pretty much your own birthday. And so, yes, the 26th is what we want to be on the outlook for this month. Uh, that is Mercury being retrograde. So any contracts, things that needs to be signed, paperwork, those things, or um, out there buying new equipment, not a good time to make big purchases because most of the time when we buy something under a retrograde, we get them home and then they don't work. They're faulty, lacking something, got to go back with them. Sometimes you're lucky, you get your money back, sometimes you won't. You know, so so hold off on any kind of big purchases for this month of June. Wait to third week of July, and if you can wait throughout July, nothing is better. So we have, uh, yeah, the full moon 23rd. You're coming out of the difficulties, the challenges, the emotional time, um, and I'm feeling as it just moves just past that Pluto there, that rebirth, that shedding, that letting go of, what you felt could have been difficult and complicated to, uh, should I say, um, not just let go of, but, but to have talks with your partner, you won't find that difficult now. You know, you might have for some time had it on the tip of your tongue, and it's like, no, nah, it's not right time yet. Mm, no, not right time. And then waiting for that time. This is a great time to get it out because uh, on the 23rd, on this full moon going into the 24th, this moon and Pluto together is going to be opposing Sun-Jupiter. The Sun is you. Jupiter is everything of higher justice, what you feel is right for you. And Jupiter is supporting you to do the right thing for you and to expand your new visions, get you out of that little box that you've been in. Um, that shell, <laughs> you know, you can cast the shell. And then moving towards your dreams, which is Neptune on the one side, Saturn saying it's okay to do it now. Saturn, which, you know, karmically does challenge us and test us at times. But right now, Saturn is in a perfect angle to your sun, perfect angle to your dream, Neptune. And the full moon and the power of Pluto's transformation, it's perfect. It's a kite. And it looks like this. This is what you're going to be looking at here towards the full moon with the Sun Jupiter opposing the full moon Pluto and then Neptune Saturn. So for those of you ready for a major leap, you may feel it come all on its own without you even having to invite it. It would just be like outer circumstances coming together, gelling, and then here it comes. So, but you might psychically want to kind of work up towards it. So at least you're ready, <clears throat> okay? So I guess this is what I have for this month. We're not going to talk about those outer planets because they're going to linger there for a few years. Uh, we visit and revisit them a little bit, you know, more or less every month, but every other month will do. Okay, so it was really nice speaking to you, Cancer, and I will see you next month. But do listen to your moon sign and your rising sign so you get a little bit more information that will just beef things up even more so for you. Okay? Bye now.